Just a whole bunch of tracks here. Looks like squirrel tracks. Now these ones all linked together are partridge tracks, I guess. Dragging its tail in the snow. Maybe it's a pheasant dragging its tail, but you can see when it gets deeper snow that they're really dragging their bottoms. Huh. Interesting. Did you find any rabbit tracks, Ben? Nope, oh, but here's another one of those tracks. I tell you what, that's a big uh, partridge. Or whatever it is. Maybe an escaped chicken. There's no wild turkeys here, in case you're wondering. Ah, the old shelter's hanging up. Hmm, lots of squirrely tracks. Looks all kind of good. <laughs> what else do you see, uh, Ben? The squirrels are having a heyday here. <laughs> Eating spruce cones, I guess. I wonder if they got a little uh, house in there. That's right next. That's my shelter in there. My sleeping quarters. Yeah, at the base of all the trees is spruce cone debris. And trucks. A whole bunch over there. Some there. <laughs> Look, Ben. I found some rabbit tracks. <laughs> These are Ben tracks from the four days ago, I guess. Ooh, there's a tree down across the trail. Ben tracks, Ben tracks. More rabbit tracks. They're big too. There's a couple there. Almost looks like we got a little run here going. I think it was over here. Yeah, more squirrel, more rabbit. I wonder if there's a rabbit den under here. All the, when I cleared that clearing out over there by the orchard, all the pieces of alder went into here. So I'm just still with that alder pile. Look up there, a uh, nest of some kind I never noticed before. It looks pretty substantial. Like bigger than a robin's or... Could be anything though. I'll have to keep an eye out next spring. See if I can see what kind of birds are hanging around there. Hey Ben, or somebody will. Maybe you will, Ben. It's kind of dark in the viewfinder. There's an apple. This, of course, is a spruce tree. That's the apple tree. There's one apple on a branch. There's another one. Hope you can see that, but that's looks like it's two years old. <laughs> and look, another apple balanced on a branch. And I don't see any more. Kind of nifty, though. Lots of tracks around here. Rabbit tracks. Look on the ground, you can see where something was eating an apple. Squirrel, maybe? I think a squirrel would eat an apple. Especially in the winter time. Oh! Looks like some uh, Ben poop. It's all consistent, which you wouldn't expect in a fox or a coyote poop. You expect that from a dog who eats the same stuff day after day. Yeah, lots of tracks in here. Here's another brush pile that came from this open area just, just in here. And tracks and tracks. Maybe there's a bunny living under there. Look who's on my seat. And look who's in front of my seat. It's Jeff. No, it's not Jeff. It's Ben. Hey, buddy. Who's that? Who's that? Oh. <laughs> 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 Do not say who's that again uh, to Ben because he thinks somebody's at the door. I just asked you what 
cat that was there, Dumbo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's Saturday, uh, which I think is the 9th of January, 2016. I'm your host, Chris Collier, and I thought I'd make another video. The good news is that uh, I made some bets for Proline, and uh, I said that Kansas City would beat Houston, and as of now, it's 27 nothing to <laughs> first Kansas City with uh, 12 and a half minutes left in the fourth inning fourth inning or uh, fourth quarter so we're gonna have a beer here we're gonna have another uh, heyday heffy Weizen, which is a wheat beer that is made in uh, well it says look back look forward look to the look to our island where this brilliant heffy was born this classic wheat ale is cloudy crisp and dry with aromas of bana banana did that say banana? Banana and clove. <laughs> Great with uh, brunch, patios, and under disposition. And break disposition. Let it shine. Get under the bridge. And it's made, uh, oh, it's Granville Island one. I just had a, uh, uh, I, I just had somebody say something about Granville Island. He said he doesn't like uh, Pilsner. And I should check out Granville Island. And lo and behold, the Under the Bridge series, Heyday Heavy Bison, is from Granville Island. Which is, I believe, in British Columbia. Yeah, it is. British Columbia. Which is the opposite end of Canada than I am. And I can't say very much because lots of people from the east move to the west, but hardly anybody from the west moves to the east. Unless they're super rich and they're going back home. <laughs> I like Weizen beer. Of course, I was I lived in Germany for six years, so... Hmm. It's got a... <laughs> I hate to say it's got a banana smell, but it does. Mmm, definitely. Weizen beer has a lot more flavor. Wheat flavor, right? It's made out of wheat, not barley. Uh, and it's good. Anyway, uh, I was at Princess Saudi the other day, and I bought some stuff. So this is like a uh, parcel opening, but I didn't get in the mail. I got there. First of all, I got this ammo can. Which, although I've been in the Army for 23 years, I'm not too sure what this can is for. It's not 25 millimeter. It's brand new, or it's either brand new painted. And I got two of them. One for me, and one for somebody else. I think I'm going to put it in the back of my truck, especially in wintertime, to keep my, uh, like, booster cables in it. Uh, my little air compressor... So I can plug it into the cigarette lighter and uh, and uh, fill up a flat tire or partially flat tire and some other important winter emergency supplies. But uh, males are more uh, adaptive than uh, females. Uh, I beg your forgiveness. We're just dumber. <laughs> anyway, ball game's over, I think. Oh, and tomorrow is more playoffs, and then Monday is the college uh, college finals to be the football. I think it's Alabama and Clemson. I don't even know where Clemson is. Is that a state, Clemson? Ah, we bear. So anyway, that's uh, about it for now. Just a quick thing. Uh, these these are great ammo boxes. Uh, they were selling. Uh, I got these for thirty dollars each. They were on sale because normally they're fifty. You could get a fifty cal ammo box, and it was thirty seven ninety nine, or you could spend thirty dollars and get this great big huge one. 
I already have some 50 cal ammo boxes, but uh, if you're a civilian and you don't know what I'm talking about, then don't worry. So I used to say I spent less for this big one than I would for one that's probably about half this size. There. There you go. I got some ropes there. Maybe I'll uh, make some kind of frame here like that to uh, rig up uh, some kind of thing to uh, uh, make uh, tie up some kind of pot over a fire and cook up some crawdads and lobster and stuff. They smell good though. Anyway, thanks for dropping by. Uh, an unusual Saturday video for me. And uh, I think I'm probably going over time, but I'm pretty happy, actually. And uh, I got a few things to go through next week and the next week after, and then I'll be probably more happier. But uh, uh, differences in my medication is, is what I'm talking about. I see the doctor in uh, two weeks, so we'll see what that, uh, what that means. <laughs> anyway, uh... Hope you're cheering for the Kansas City uh, Chiefs, because they're winning. And uh, we're always winning around here, eh? Right, Dave? Yeah, stupid cat. Cheers. This is Chris. Out.